With projector phones, users can project a large display almost anywhere and at any time. Such projector phones support various forms of co-located media viewing, browsing and interactions. Unfortunately, so far, these projector phones only mirror what is usually shown on the touchscreen. Projecting the touchscreen user interface must lead to suboptimal interactions as it causes many context switches and because the user interface is not designed for screens with large dimensions. Mid-air finger pointing techniques, as shown here, are an interesting alternative due to their increased directness and the opportunity to use the mobile phone screen as an additional in and output besides the projection. To assess the performance of these mid-air techniques, we conducted two user studies, of which the first one was a multi-dimensional tapping task with four techniques. The input area of each technique is first highlighted in green and then demonstrated. For the technique user defined, we let participants define their individual input space by pointing several times at the corners of the projection to mark the boundaries of their input space. One of these derived input spaces is demonstrated as example here. Users performed four rounds of 15 targets of three different sizes, as shown here. Our results show that behind was about 15% faster than other techniques, however at the expense of a more than twice as high error rate compared to touchpad. The impact of the higher error rate will likely depend upon the application context. Consequently, in the second study we compared the behind and touchpad techniques in three real applications – browsing, gaming and painting – testing with the same 12 users from the first study. As before, during the behind interaction, touching the touchscreen was equivalent to pressing or holding down the left mouse button, so in gaming it was used to shoot, in painting to paint and in browsing to grab the site for scrolling or to click a link respectively. During touchpad control, touching the screen moved the pointer, whereas the mouse down action was triggered by a double tap on the screen. Every participant tried every technique with every application. As expected, the mid-air behind technique performed well in scenarios where precision was less crucial and touchscreen showed best results but where the fat finger problem mattered the least. Overall, our findings indicate that the behind mid-air technique will be useful as an additional input method for B-manual multi-display interaction with projector phones.